Number five. Well, you know, a paper is always good when you have a binomial expansion bang in the middle. Because <laughs> this is going to be a lot of easy marks for these kind of questions. So what do we have here, guys? So A, find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of this binomial expansion. Well, um, there's two ways of doing this. Um, you could use the general, you know, the NCR method, which is probably what a lot of you guys are using. However, if you're taking this all the way to C4, I would recommend you use the C4 method. So you, don't, you, you have one formula to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this here. So 2 minus 9x to the power 4. The tip is, is to rewrite this in terms of 1 plus ax. So to get the 1 here. Now to do this, we need to factorize 2 out. So we're going to rewrite this as 2 to the power 4 when we factorize it out. Times. Now when you factorize 2, you get 1 minus 9 over 2x. All to the power 4. Now this, my friends, is what we're going to actually expand. Okay, let's do it. So expanding this, take 2 to the power 4 outside. Expanding this one using the general term, it's going to be, and you should follow this carefully, it will be the first term 1 plus, and it's going to be the power multiplied by the, the term here. So it will be 4 times minus 9 over 2x. And now the next one is going to be all in descending order here yeah, of powers. So we're going to do the power times 1 less the power, so it'll be 4 times 3 over 2 factorial, because it's 2 terms, and then we copy the term and we square it now, minus 9 over 2x to the power 2, and that's it, and if you had to do a third term, well, you repeat the process, it'll be 4, 3, 2 over 3 factorial, powers 3, and so on. Anyway, that's it. So now all we do is just expand this and tidy up. So let's have a look. So what we do now, so first these things, do one term at a time. So for the first term, it will be 2 to the power 4 times 1, which is which is going to be da -da -da, 16. If you guys need help with this, it's quite straightforward. Just do 2 to the power 4 times 4 times minus 9 over 2 in your calculator, and you should get exactly minus 288, pop in an x. And for this bit, in your calculator, write 2 to the power 4 times this entire fraction, times 9 minus 9 minus 9 over 2 all squared without the x obviously and doing that will give us exactly plus 1944x squared easy stuff easy stuff now here comes the main event so let's check it out so according to this one fx equals 1 plus kx one linear term times what we just had up here so this would effectively be the expansion here okay the expansion is in ascending powers of x of fx up to including the term in x squared is this. So in other words, expand this, expanding this up to x squared will give us this kind of result. Now, you have to find the values of a, b, and k. So effectively, we're going to do three parts in one. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and expand this term up to, up to, up to and until x squared. So to do this fast, I'm just going to rewrite this one as all of this times 1 plus kx okay now let's do it so let's multiply all of this firstly by 1 which well, will give you the same result it will give you 16 minus 288x plus 1944x squared next we're going to multiply by kx and we're only going to stop after it reaches x squared okay so times all this by kx you're going to get first which is 16kx minus uh, 288 kx squared plus and that's it next one give you cubic answer now what do we do here well now we just match um, coefficients to each term for example we can say firstly that for for the first term the constant term a a must be equivalent to 16 because they're the only constants here so we can say a is 16 the next bit in terms of x's we can say that minus 232 x is equivalent to minus 288x and 16kx so writing as an equation we could say minus 232 in terms of x's that is yeah is equivalent to minus 288 plus 16k so minus 288 plus 16k and now you just have to solve this and make k the subject so doing this and making k the subject you should basically get do 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 7 over 2. So just plus 288 and then divide by 16. And lastly, doing the final term, so for bx squared, guys, we have to make bx squared equivalent to 
um, 1944x1 1, 1, minus 288k. So let's write it down here. So 1944 minus 288k must be equivalent to b. And this is easy. We know that the value k is literally 7 over 2. Plug in 7 over 2 here, and you should get uh, duh, 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 936. That's it. Done. Very easy, guys. Um, yeah, this is it for you. This is literally question 5. Done.